Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we would like to share how to solve the system of equations by using the Gaussian elimination method. Firstly, let's convert the equations into a method matrix form with all the coefficients written on the left while the constant on the right. For the unknown x, we have 2, 2, and 3. For the unknown y, we have minus 6, 1, and 1. While for z, we have 8, 3, for constants, we have 24, 2, and 16. Since this is Gaussian elimination, which means that we should turn the entries in this lower triangular into 0, or also known as the echelon form. Before that, let's convert this 2 to 1 for simple calculation purpose. To make 2 becomes 1, I will simply take row 1 times 1 over 2 and hence we have 2 divided by 2 is 1 minus 6 divided by 2 is minus 3 8 divided by 2 is 4 24 divided by 2 is 12 and for the rest of the entry since nothing to do with this calculation we should copy exactly the same so which means that for the second row we have 2 1 3 and 2 for the third row we have 3 1 2 and 16. Next is to turn 2 and 3 to 0. We know that to make a number 0, we have two methods. One is to times 0, one is to minus itself. Of course, we cannot take times 0 for this case since this is row operation where times 0 is not allowed. What we have to do here is to minus exactly the same number. However, we couldn't take the same row and minus itself. So what we have to do here is to consider the other row. I'm going to consider the first row. So if let's say we want to use row 2 and minus row 1, we will realize that it's not enough for us to turn to 0. In order to make sure that we obtain 0, so I will times 2 to the first row. So we have 2 minus 2 times 1 equal to 0. And similarly, for the third row, we should take the third row and we minus 3 times of the first row. So we have 3 minus 3 times 1 equal to 0. Let's perform the respective row operations for the rest of the entries. For the entries that not involved in these two operations, we should copy exactly the same. So which means that for the first row should remain as 1, minus 3, 4, and 12. Now let's move to the second entry of row 2. We have 1, minus 2 times from the row 1, which is the corresponding value, minus 3. Always take the number from the same column. And this is equal to 1 minus minus becomes plus. 1 plus 6 is equal to 7. So we write it here, 7. Next, we have 3 minus 2 times corresponding value 4. And this is equal to 3 minus 8, which is minus 5. So we have minus 5 here. And next, we have... 2 minus 2 times 12, which is equal to 2 minus 24, which is minus 22. And we write it here, minus 22. Now proceed to the second entry of the dead row by using the corresponding row operation. We have 1 minus 3 times the corresponding value minus 3. So minus minus is plus. 1 plus 9 is equal to 10. So write it here, 10. Next we have 2 minus 3 times 4, which is equal to minus 10. So we write it here, minus 10. Next, we have 16 minus 3 times 12, which is equal to minus 20. So we write it here, minus 20. The last number that we should turn 0 is 10. I'm going to consider the second row in the row operation, but not the first row. Since we know that only 0 will not contribute any value to the existing value, which is 0. So that we have back 0 later. If we consider the first row, when we perform row operation, definitely this number will tend to non-zero. And this is not what we are looking for. So for the third row, we should now consider the third row and we should minus since this is positive and this is also positive so we should minus in order for us to remove the number and turn to zero however we have seven so we should remove seven what we need here is 10 so we times 10 and we have row two so we should have zero zero and minus 10 we have the same operation 
minus 10 over 7 times rho 2. So the corresponding value which is minus 5. And this is equal to minus 20 over 7. So we write it here minus 20 over 7. Next we have minus 20 by using the same operation which is minus 10 divided by 7 times rho 2 the corresponding value which is minus 22 and this is equal to positive 80 over 7. So we write here 80 over 7. And for the rest of the entry since nothing to do with this operation we should copy exactly the same which means that for the first row we have 1 minus 3 4 12 and for the second row we have 0 7 minus 5 and negative 22 since we have achieved the row echelon form or the upper triangular form in other words we can now form the equations and solve simultaneously let's record the position of the unknowns we have x followed by y followed by z which means that for the first equation we have 1 times x is x minus 3 times y is minus 3 y 4 times z so we have plus 4 z and this is equal to the right hand side 12. Next equation we have 7 times y for 0 anything times 0 we get back 0 so we can ignore for this case and we have minus 5 that is equal to minus 22. Lastly we have minus 20 divided by 7 that is equal to 80 divided by 7. With the reduced form of equations, we can now solve the simultaneous easily. From equation 3, we have minus 20 divided by 7 that is equal to 80 over 7. I'm going to take this equation and multiply with minus 7 over 20. So that 7 cancel with 7, 20 cancel with 20, and minus minus becomes plus. So which means that we have 1 times z is equal to z and this is equal to 80 divided by 7 times negative 7 over 20 or simply 80 divided by minus 20 which is negative 4 and now substitute this value into the second equation from the second equation we have 7y minus 5 z is now negative 4 and this is equal to minus 22 which means that we have 7y is equal to minus 22 minus move forward becomes plus 5 times negative 4 which is negative 20 so which means that we have minus 22 minus 20 which is equal to minus 42 and this is equal to 7y let's divide the equation by 7 so which means that we have y is equal to minus 42 divided by 7 which is minus 6 and now substitute that equal to minus 4 and y equal to minus 6 into the first equation from the first equation we have x minus 3y which is minus 6 plus 4 times z which is minus 4 is equal to 12 so which means that x is equal to 12 minus minus plus plus move forward to the right becomes minus 3 times 6 is 18 and we have plus minus is minus minus move forward plus 4 times 4 16 and this yields 10 so which means that x is equal to 10 y equal to negative 6 z equal to negative 4 is the solution for this system of equations and hence we done okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you